Unconditional love, caring, begin on our table, on our plate. Love in action, okay? We don't kill others because they all love to live. We don't kill others, especially now, even because we want to save a place for our children. If we love our children, that's the way we do. Even if we lay down our lives for them, it's worth it. Not to talk about just lay down that piece of meat, which is poisonous anyway. We should not kill animals for food because that's not the way intended by heaven. So let's begin from that. See, we live a heavenly quality life, then we are one with heaven. Very simple. Every time you do something, you start thinking, would a heavenly being do this? Yes? How would Jesus do this in my situation? How would Buddha do this in my situation? How would the Prophet Muhammad decide this moment, this action? How would heavenly being look down upon and approve my action? And every day, everything you do, if you feel doubt, you ask yourself that question. Remind yourself always of the heavenly quality. That's how you connect with heaven first. And then if you want to go more further, then you seek a guidance of a meditation expert. And you go deeper inside your great self and know more and more each day. And then from that inner knowledge, you translate into outward action. And then you will be a walking God, (laughs) a breathing angel, a physical blessing to this planet. There's no separation. We all connected even to a mosquitoes and ants. So only God knows who is truly bad, who is truly good, <laughs> and who's really our enemies and who's really not. If we don't know yet, then we aspire to know. First, we have to live the life of heaven. That is, live and that live, love and forgive. Very simple.